Hey everybody, my name is Spencer Atkins. I'm the Chief Meteorologist here at 59 News and 13 News. We actually have two stations and we do all the weather here from uh, one location. Uh, meteorologist, basically you're kind of on duty all the time because the weather never, never stops as you can see behind me here, uh, giving you a little bit of a view of all the nice colorful stuff. We have just tons and tons of computers behind me. Uh, you have to know a lot about just kind of running basic computers, uh, you know, try and keep up with technology, things like Windows, uh, know the difference between Windows and Linux, uh, just little things like that. Uh, also, you want to stay up on any of the newest apps that are out there. You have to be kind of computer savvy to begin with and like that kind of stuff. That's one. Uh, two, to be a meteorologist, it certainly helps if you like math because uh, as we build what we call weather models, there are a lot of equations that come into play, uh, and they are the basis for weather models. And so if you have an appreciation for how those work, then you can figure out a little bit more about how the weather goes. Oh, as I mentioned, we spend a lot of time in front of the computers. We look at weather models all day, literally representations of the atmosphere. So we look at those things constantly. We look at things like radar, satellite. Uh, we're looking at, uh, again, trends that we have recognized from working in a spot for uh, I've been here since 1993 and paying attention to the weather since 97 when I got into the weather department so uh, again these are all things that come into play and it, you really can't when you're a weather person if you're a meteorologist whether you're on TV radio uh, if you're working for any kind of a media outlet you kind of have to stay on top of it all the time obviously there's a lot of nice slow periods when you can take some time off and not really worry about it but you definitely want to stay on top of your game by watching all the time what's going on with the weather and staying up with the latest information on the weather models. Now we'll show you a little bit of some of the behind the scenes stuff, some of the kind of cool stuff that goes on here and show you our magic green wall spin over here. And I'm gonna get some help from uh, Kristen Ketchell, who's our meteorologist who works with me here in the evening. This is Kristen. This is my close up. Here you are, this is Kristen, hi Kristen. We had some showers and thunderstorms roll through the area a little bit earlier this afternoon and evening. This precipitation finally winds down a little bit. Those green boxes you see, flash flood warning in Beckley. Those temperatures are going to be falling into the 40s overnight. We're finally going to dry out cold front this afternoon. And that's what caused those yellow inches in blue field about an inch and a quarter. So as you can see, there's actually nothing on the magic green wall back here, but you get used to it after a while. I always, uh, people always ask me, well, how do you get used to doing that? It's kind of in reverse. And I say, well, you people with hair, how do you do your hair in the mirror? You just get used to it. It's the same thing in doing weather. Uh, I don't remember the days with hair. But anyhow, that's pretty much kind of a look at what goes on in here. We talked a little bit about, you know, you have to like math, computers, technology, all these types of things. And be curious. And the greatest thing about being a meteorologist is the job is never really the same thing. You may do the same types of steps, but the weather changes every day. And that's what makes it great. So good luck in your career choice. Hope you come up with something that's rewarding in your life, and I wish you the best of luck. By the way, just real quick, there are a lot of good schools uh, out there for meteorology. Ohio State, Ohio University uh, are some of the close schools. Penn State's a big one. Florida State, Oklahoma, uh, Mississippi State. I went there uh, through uh, what they call distance learning. So any kind of a number of schools that you can learn meteorology, other small schools too that do a great job. So uh, look around if meteorology kind of interests you uh, online and see what else you can find out there. Lots of great weather sites too. So let me show you a little bit uh, behind the scenes too.